Hi guys, now I'm going to talk about the film Ideco, The Bus Conductor. It's a film produced in Japan in 1941 and directed by Mikio Naruzi. It talks about a young girl called Okoma. Yes, I'm checking the names here in this paper because it's Japanese and I didn't memorize them. Only the names. Okoma, she is a girl who works as a bus conductor. I mean, she punched cars, she collected the bus fare from the passengers, and she opened and closed windows and she helped the driver. They lived in a small Japanese city in the countryside, and Okoma, yes, Okoma, Okoma was very worried that the passengers were not taking her bus very often because there was another company in the city and their buses, they were more expensive, but they were also faster and cleaner. One day she was arriving in her house where she lived and the landlady, she was listening to a radio program about bus conductors who also provided information about the places, the special places along the way. It's like a tourist guide, which gives information about special places in the route of the bus to entertain passengers and to make the atmosphere more cheerful. She had this idea, she talked with the driver who worked with her and was a very good friend of her, called Sonoda. Sonoda gave the suggestion to the boss, the boss agreed, but the, they still needed someone to write the script, what she would say to the passengers, which information she would provide about which places, and then she remembered, Okoma remembered, that she had met Ikawa. Ikawa is a writer that came from Tokyo. He had lost a notebook in the bus and she had delivered to him. And then Ikawa, she agreed to write the script for free and to rehearse Okoma so she could provide the information with the proper tone of voice making the appropriate gestures and she was very excited about the idea and then Ikawa he didn't want to receive payment he was happy to help everyone but one day while Okoma was rehearsing in the bus there was an accident with the bus Ikawa was the only passenger of the bus Consequently, the only witness of the accident and the boss of the bus company, he was trying to push both Okoma and Sonada to provide false testimony so the boss could collect money from the insurance company. But Ikawa, as I have said, was the only witness of the accident and uh, he acted as a moral voice and persuaded Okoma and Sonoda not to lie because their boss just because their boss wanted it. So okay, the boss when he met Ikawa, he was afraid that the boss was really fearful that Ikawa had any connections with newspaper people and that he would denounce him somehow. So the boss gave up lying. And uh, then the, ever, the, the entire bus crew started with the bus guide thing, entertaining the passengers and talking about the special places along the route. But then there is a plot twist in the end of the film. Although the employees didn't know, the boss decided to sell the company. So while both Okoma and Sonoda, 
they were starting with this new idea of showing the places, the special places along the road of the bus to the passengers. And everything was going so well. The passengers were re really enjoying it, started to sing and to be very happy in the bus. When everything seemed to be all right, the, the bus sold the company. And of course, th this is how the film ends. And we don't know what happened afterwards. When the employees got to know that the company was sold, if they would lose their jobs or not, uh, this part we don't know. This is when the film ends.